How's it going everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here, aka Big D, and it's time to finally talk about the first uh, official information from Noah Hawley and Entertainment Weekly uh, about Fargo Season 3. Uh, oh, yes indeed, it's going to be that time of year again where Season 2 is already finishing up. We have two more episodes left this season, and that's it, man. That's it with the characters, and it's over. Ed, Peggy, Lou, Carl, the Breakfast King, Sonny... Uh, Hansi, Bear, the Gerhards, Mike Milligan, uh, the Kitchen Brothers. I mean, it's it's crazy, man. It is finally coming to an end, the end of an era. But it's time to get on to season three. I have the f official information right here from uh, Noah Holly Talk to Entertainment Weekly, and we finally got some first official information of what the the time setting is going to be for season one uh, and so forth. So here we go. I'm going to read this to you guys and. Uh, just reviewed the uh, Season 2 episode 8 of Fargo. You guys want to check that out? The link will be down below. Here we go. The playlist. Fargo Season 2 playlist should be down there. Fargo is leaving the 20th century behind for Season 3. FX acclaimed anthology drama was set in 2006 for its Emmy-winning debut season last year. And then the action shifted to 1979 for its current second season. Season 3 will take place a couple years after the first season... Uh, Entertainment Weekly has learned exclusively, and I quote, It's more contemporary, showrunner Noah Hawley said when asked about the season three time period. It's set a couple years after season one. Okay, well that's interesting there. So uh, after that we have uh, asked if this means some characters from the first season will return, or maybe even we'll see older versions of characters from season two. The writer-producer replied, potentially. The two seasons of Fargo have had entirely different casts, uh, though one key character, Lou Solverson, was played by different actors in both seasons, Keith Carradine in season one and Patrick Wilson in season two, both fantastic actors. Solverson's daughter, Molly uh, Allison Tolman, was a main character the first year, and then a young minor character this year. Given that those two characters were in both seasons, one would suppose they're among the most likely to continue in some capacity in season three. Not bad to see Molly again, hopefully. But Holly has also previously expressed some reluctance to put Molly Solverson through the dramatic ringer again, given her uh, character's satisfying season one arc. I do agree, actually, a little bit there. We also asked Holly if we were uh, if we get if we had any hints about season three planted in the current season of Fargo, uh, which FX recently you know renewed season two in there. So uh, he did say they are going to be connections. The way the first year was connected to the movie, and the second year was connected to the first season, uh, Will, but I think part of the fun is figuring that stuff out, and I wouldn't want to take that away from anybody, he said. There would definitely be things that connect to something in our story. Holly noted the show's setting always has to at least be a few years in the past, given that the show is based on a true story format. The idea of the true story is it always has to at least have been a few years because the idea is we finally know what really happened and it took time. Basically, the book doesn't come out until five or six years after. Fargo has been building towards a dramatic confrontation as the fabled massacre at Souks Falls all season and there are only two episodes left. Fargo airs Monday nights on FX. Is there any chance Kansas City Enforcer Mike Milligan can somehow survive so he can return next year around 60 years older and more lethal than ever? So there you go, guys. That is our first information there on Fargo Season 3. It is going to be set after Season 1. A few years after Season 1, we could potentially see returning characters like Keith Carradine's Lou. I believe Lou survived at the end of season one, right? We could see Keith Carradine return. We could see Molly return. We could see uh, Tom Hanks' son return. Uh, I believe the name Colin Hanks. We could see Molly's husband return, which is Hanks. Uh, we could also... We could see multiple characters return, man. Definitely, for sure. 
uh, that would be interesting, man, to see that. So, uh, I'm very interested. Comment down below. Let me know what did you guys think about this Fargo Season 3 news. Are you excited? Are you disappointed? Do you want them to do another time period? Honestly, this will work for me. Uh, as long as the writing's amazing, as long as the cast is good, the directing, all that stays amazing. That's all that matters to me, man. After Season 1, alright, I was kind of hoping for a 1920s, 30s, 40s vibe. But, uh, you know, uh, Season 4, I guess? Uh, maybe... Probably not, but uh, one can only hope, right? Again, comment down below. If you guys do enjoy uh, my Fargo uh, opinion or news, uh, make sure to support the channel. You guys can always hit that subscribe button. I'd really do appreciate that. Uh, that's just if you want. If you don't, cool, cool. Check out the other videos, please. Uh, I have uh, I review Fargo season two, so loving Fargo so far. It is uh, it's a slobber knocker. If you're not watching uh, Fargo on FX, well then you're just uh, you're you're playing this out actually. So. Uh, Okay then, I uh, okay then. I think uh, we're done. <laughs> we're done here today. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all uh, next time. Remember, uh, always remember. I'm gonna find you, darling. I'm gonna make the. I'll see you all again. Season three. <sighs> don't, don't, don't mess up. Do not mess up, Noah Holly. I, 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 I and Noah Holly, we trust, baby. And Noah Holly, we trust. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't be like uh, Ryan Murphy with American Horror Story. It's such a good series. And then it just turned to... It, it was... It, don't become American Horror Story, Fargo. Stay strong.